I love the beach, but my skin burns very easily, so I decided to research beach shelters for our next beach vacation. My criteria was pretty simple. It needed to be small and light enough to fit into my suitcase, big enough for two adults, stable and windy conditions, and of course, it had to be affordable. I decided on the 9-foot Kelty Noah's tarp. It's very light, weighing in at 1.5 pounds, or 680 grams. It folds up to the size of a pair of jeans and costs around $60. The tarp does not come with poles, so I decided to use 1.5 meter MSR tarp poles. The large sandbags are 10 liter stuff sacks, and I also added a 6x9 tarp as a floor with 5 liter stuff sacks as sandbags. In total, the Kelty tarp, poles, and sandbags came in at just over $200. The Kelty tarp is made of 75D polyester that provides an ultraviolet protection factor of 50. This means that the tarp blocks 98% of harmful UV rays. The tarp performed very well even on the windiest days. Winds averaged 30 km per hour or that's 20 miles per hour. Even on the windiest days the sandbags didn't budge. Each 10 liter bag weighs roughly 16 kilograms or 35 pounds. This is approximately the weight of a cinder block. I really like the MSR adjustable tarp poles. They're made from aircraft aluminum and break down into three sections that are shock corded together. Note the mod that I did to two of the poles. I added a fourth section of pole to give me tie points for a line that I used to add a center peak to the tarp. It really helps to have extra lines on hand to fasten things down if the winds increase. I'd also recommend having a few extra sandbags just in case one breaks or you run into some really high winds. Both of the tarps, four poles, eight sandbags and all the lines fit easily into a 20 liter bag. After four weeks of intensive testing in the Caribbean, we were very happy with our Kelty Noah's tarp and we would definitely recommend it.